Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Technology. This is the Sony Xperia P. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Sony Xperia P for you guys. Now, uh, this is a dual core 1 gigahertz device with a Cortex A9 processor. And uh, it is a 4 inches device with an LED backlit LCD display. This costs about 27,000 rupees in the market. But if you search more, you might be able to get it for 26500 or something like that. So uh, this is actually the uh, device, the packaging of the device is very very similar to that of uh, Sony Xperia U. Uh, these very thin boxes Sony likes to make. And another thing is that this device that I got is coming with Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0. So no more gingerbread on uh, the Xperia Next series. And uh, here you can see the box. Now I have already opened the box and played around with the device. So um, this is the box and as this it is saying over here that it has been awarded as the best product of uh, 2012 and 13 green smartphone, the Sony Xperia P. Now I don't know what that actually means. Now I have the silver color over here. But you can also get this in uh, black and red color. So without further ado, let's just unbox the device and I will be sh uh, sharing some specifications of the device with you. Now here, first and foremost in the box, uh, we are greeted with the Sony Xperia P. Uh, I'll be getting back to this in a while. Let's see what else do we get in the box. Okay, so here's a opening and I think this is the data cable of the device. Let's see. Okay, so we do get a data cable with the device and you can see it is the standard kind of a data cable. Other than that, in the box we do get a Sony charger. Other than that, uh, let's see if we have anything else. Okay, we also have the hands-free kit over here. Just look into this. So we actually get two things, uh, we have uh, the Sony headphones, as you can see over here we have the label clip and some additional ear gels. So here we have uh, the headphones, they seem really really nice, let's just unpack these and uh, see it. So here we go, you can see we have an angled 3.5mm audio jack which is gold plated. Here are uh, the headphones themselves or the hands-free whatever you want to call them and uh, we have the Sony logo over here and they seem to be they are in-ear style earphones and uh, they they seem like they will sound really good. So here we have the call pick and call and button with a microphone. Other than that in the box we have ridiculous amount of paperwork Okay guys, so this is everything uh, pretty much from the box, uh, let's just look at the device. Okay, so here we have the device and you might have noticed that we did not get a battery. Obviously because the back is non-removable and we have the battery inside the device. Here's the Sony Xperia P, looks very beautiful in this shiny metal kind of a thing and uh, it is very nicely sized, uh, fits perfectly in your hand and just to give you a little rundown on the specification of the device it has a four inches uh, display which has 275 pixel density and has 540 into 690 pixels and also has multi-touch up to four fingers has a scratch resistant glass and also has sony white magic technology sony mobile bravia engine and also timescape other than that, it has built-in 16 GB uh, storage, almost 13 GB is user available and we also have a 1 GB RAM over here. Now this also comes with NFC and it also has an HDMI port. Other than that, uh, it has an 8 megapixel shooter at the back and which is autofocus and also has an LED flash. Other than that, it has it does a 1080p 
video recording at 30 frames per second with continuous autofocus and also video light and in the front we also have a VGA camera now basically this device used to come with the gingerbread out of the box but now we are getting android ice cream sandwich out of the box it also has a dual core 1 gigahertz cortex e9 processor which is nova thor u85 double zero chipset and it also has a mali 400 mp gpu in here and it also has html5 and adobe flash so um Seeing over here, you can see we have some uh, things given over here on the protector and it actually says that the SIM goes in right like this and it takes a micro SIM. So just remember that there is a specific way to insert the SIM over here and if you s insert it in the wrong way, the phone is not going to work next time. I would recommend uh, that uh, you let the shopkeeper put the SIM for you. Other than that, it says you have to charge your device 30 minutes before use and uh, this is where you power on the device. So let's just get rid of this uh, plastic over here. So here we have the very beautiful 4 inch screen of the device and we also have a see through kind of a bar over here. And uh, these are actually touch capacitive buttons. So let's just take a tour around the device. So on the top of the device you can see we have the camera which is a VGA camera. We also have an LED light notification and some sensors over here. On the bottom of the device we have these touch capacitive buttons. This is the back button, the home button and the menu button. So on the side of the device you can see we have the USB, micro USB port, the HDMI port and the SIM tray over here. Let me just show you that this is behind this swivelly kind of a door. You really have to be very careful with this door. It is very easily breakable. On this side of the device you can see we have a speaker. The power on and off button. Which is also the screen unlock and unlock button. We have the volume rockers. And we have a dedicated camera button over here. On the top of the device you can see we have the 3.5mm audio jack which is flushed into the body and any uh, headphones will work with this. On the back of the device you can see we have the 8 megapixel camera with also a LED flash and we have the NFC sticker over here and we can get rid of the sticker. Okay so here we go. So here is the back panel of the device. You can see it kind of shines the silver one and looks very beautiful. Very odd enough we have the Sony Ericsson logo over here and we also have Xperia written over here. All in all it's a very beautiful device and feels very premium in the hand but I would recommend getting a silicon cover back cover with this device because it is made of made out of aluminium which is gonna scratch very easily. So let's just power on the device and show you how it looks. And we have the Xperia logo. And here we have the screen. Looking very beautiful as it is. It has an LED backlit LCD display which is supposed to save a little of your battery. And the, ba the blacks are really deep and it looks very beautiful. Now we can jump into camera. The phone is booting up and uh, you can see it uh, instantly focuses just put my knife over here and try it and take a picture of it so you can see it instantly focuses and took a picture and here we have the picture we can zoom it and you can see it is quite clear so here we have the device all powered on. You can see here we have the drop down menu and we can directly go into settings from here and let me just show you quickly what we are running here. So you can see we are running on 4.0.4 that is ice cream sandwich so no more gingerbread. You can see all the notifications land up over here and we have the very beautiful screen 
very beautifully lit up screen and we can also pinch and zoom into the screens to get all the screens at the same time and we can shake the device to see a nice, nice little animation over here and just click on this one widget and it's gonna take you to that screen now we also get some live wallpapers let me just show you those so we have some live wallpapers over here let me just show you one which is provided by sony so we also have this water kind of a wallpaper over here and uh, we have a nexus wallpaper so you can see this is really really cool and we get loads of other stuff with uh, this device we have a lot of things in the menu pre-installed and we can change the setup of these applications all in all it looks like a very good device and very comfortable to hold in the hand not too big not too small this four inches is absolutely perfect for the hand so uh, i will be giving a full review on this device i haven't used it much right now but i will be giving a full review of the device and we'll get back to you guys really really soon so if you want to see something in particular do let me know and uh, this is dr technology signing off if you have any questions and queries please feel free to ask please do subscribe to my channel please do like my facebook page and i will see you in my next video till then stay cool and stay happy